Hey, what's going on YouTube? Crow Sama here. And today we're going to take a look at the Core Gundam G3 Color and the V2 Unit. And I'm also going to be throwing in the V2 Weapons as a part of the review. So, let's go ahead and check out the Core Gundam. Now, of course, the G3 Color Core Gundam is going to be exactly the same as the original Core Gundam, minus the colors. But, you know, it doesn't look too bad. I just really prefer the original Core Gundam color scheme. Now, if you're interested in the Core Gundam's articulation, go check out the Earth 3 Gundam review I put out. I actually just did all the coverage on that, so I can pretty much avoid doing any more articulation uh, reviews in the future of the Core Gundam. Now, with all the formalities of the Core Gundam out of the way, let's start taking a look at the V2 unit. Now, I'd like to thank NewTypeHQ.com for sponsoring this video. Honestly, without them, it'd be significantly harder for me to actually make this review possible. But with them, they just you know give me all the necessary tools and resources in order to make these reviews possible. So definitely thank you to them, and you can check out their website and use that promo code Krosama, so that way you can get 10% off. So let's get on to the review. And here is the V2 unit. Honestly, I don't have any issues with it. It basically is just the same aircraft, the same core aircraft that carries and houses all the, you know, the different parts. Uh, there's nothing really too spectacular about this, but it's not like a bad thing. I think it just looks really cool as is, you know, something that transports all the uh, different you know, legs and arms and gauntlets and all that. It's fine, uh, but the thing is lacking a lot of weapons, which we will cover a little bit later in this video, uh, but as is, I think it's okay. And like the Earth 3 unit, you are going to have a stand that's going to come with it, so that way you can just have it displayed. So something to take note of, and I really didn't know this because I haven't watched the anime to be honest, but the actual V2 unit is not utilized by the G3 color core unit, it's utilized by the normal core unit. and I actually just so happen to have a regular core unit so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use that because it's a little more canon I don't know where the G3 colors you know fall into place and to be honest I think the G3 colors aren't as good looking as the regular colors so I'm just gonna use the regular one because hey if it's canon that's something I'd rather just stick with all right boys let's get ready to dock first we're gonna take the hands off Swooping in with the unit, let's take the backpack off, the back skirt, and these side skirts. Rotate these front skirts up, attach the unit front skirts right on the front of the cores, and attach the back skirt. Keep these rotated down, and then we're going to apply the new backpack. And we're going to pretty much pop the rest of these parts off, so the legs, and the hand guards. And we rotate the foot forward, attach the hand gauntlets, attach the hand armor, Take off the gauntlets, I'm going to pop those hands right here, and we're going to put these gauntlets right here into the hand, and we're going to pop these legs right in. Pop off the shoulders, that doesn't look too bad actually. And at this point we're just going to be taking everything else off. Then of course we're going to spread these shoulders out, and then just pop these right underneath and snap them in. Snap these parts in so that way we can keep this part secured, and get those shoulders in place. And finally the mono fin. And with the final product, it is looking super damn good. Um, I love the aesthetics of it. I love the design of the legs, the arm gauntlets with like the little hand cannons. Uh, I even love the little mono fin right there in the middle of the head. I think everything looks good. I don't actually have any issues with the design at all. Even the construction, you get like a few stickers for like the eyes and the uh, the scope on the top of the head and the, the little camera for the rifle, but that's it. I mean. Uh, looking at the line art and everything, most of it is pretty much color accurate. I really can't see anything except for some black here and there, uh, but that's actually really easy to fix. Otherwise, this is a really good looking kit, especially for the price tag, which is roughly between like $15, $17. And just looking at the details on that fin, of course you're going to have the sticker that's going to go right in the center, uh, but you can also panel line a little bit around it. And the chest is looking pretty good. I don't really, yeah, don't really have any issues. Obviously, it's just going to be a couple of parts right here slapped on it. Uh, but it still doesn't look bad. Maybe if there was something right here in the center, uh, just to kind of fill in that gap, that would look a little bit better. But you know what? I like it. I think it looks beautiful. Now, the shoulder is probably the only gripe I may have, uh, only because I don't think the design is that great. It looks just pretty odd. I don't really know what to make of this. It's it's a weird looking design. Maybe if it did not have uh, at least much of the white, I think it would look a lot better, but maybe that's just me. 
And moving on to the gauntlet, I think the gauntlet is beautiful. Oh my god, it's so sexy. Uh, but yeah, pretty much it's just going to be a really cool cannon that you can you know utilize. Um, no issues whatsoever. It looks cool, and the handguard, obviously, that's going to be looking nice as well. So yeah, moving on. And the front skirts, eh, pretty much just some front skirts. Uh, looking at the back skirts though, these are just going to be uh, one solid piece. So there's not going to be any articulation of the sword. And for the legs, they are going to be smexy. Just everything about them, I really like the aesthetics. I love the, the legs themselves. I mean, it, a lot of it is somewhat like the uh, the Mars 4 with like the two little you know claw things in the back. Except for, I think those claws were in the front of the foot. But no, I mean, it looks good. I like the colors. I love just the uh, you know, the overall aesthetics. The little front, you know, I guess ankle guards, whatever you want to call those. Guards aren't too bad. I don't know what the purpose of it, except for just, you know, overall design. But hey, it, it looks really good. Now for articulation, honestly, this thing is exactly like the Air 3. I, I don't see any kind of issue. So once again, if you want to see articulation on this, I mean, just go check out the Air 3 Gundam. Nothing is really preventing this from not having the same exact articulation. Um, I mean, maybe the feet are going to be slightly different, but I don't really think so, to be honest. Um, everything is just going to have a good fluid motion. So no issues whatsoever. But let's go ahead and move on to the weapon attachments. Now I did forget to mention that this kit actually comes with multiple beam sabers, two short ones for the core Gundam and two long ones for the V2. And honestly that green beam saber looks really good, I, I actually really like the colors on it, especially when you're hitting the light at a certain angle, it looks like it's illuminating, so this is actually something I'm going to keep and maybe even utilize it for the future builds. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the V2 weapon, so this is just a little add-on that Bandai decided to make, and it's kind of, I don't know, I think it's kind of scummy of Bandai to be honest, because why couldn't this just be attached into the, well, be added into the overall kit, and let me pay a little bit more, but I do get some people may want to just have the weapons alone, I never really met that kind of person before, but yeah, there's probably people that just want the attachments, or Bandai just wants the money. And here's everything that's gonna come in that kit, so you're really just gonna have the attachments for the rifle as well as the backpack. Alright guys, so to defeat this enemy, we're going to have to put this kid in some amazing poses, analyze the weapons, and give a fantastic final review. Alright guys, we just missed that slashing attack, so with the assistance of a nice ankle pivot, as you can see right there, we're able to position ourselves in a comfortable spot so that way we can deliver a strong attack. Okay, the ogre is still standing, but we did manage to pull off a really awesome pose with that double barrel attack, so looking really sharp. Oh no, looks like he's going to be coming in with that double slash. So what options do we have? And we was able to do a nice little blocking pose with the assistance of our two beam sabers. And we was able to push back the ogre for just enough time that we can get our backpack attachment on. And looking like we're about to deliver some massive damage, my boys. And that barrage of attacks was not enough to take this ogre down. So, what else can we do to make this all ogre? And with the Earth 3 Core Gundam's weapon, we can create the Big Beam Bazooka. This Big Beam Bazooka is made up on three different parts, and it's looking super solid and enough to just take them out. Well, let's see how we did. And for my final thoughts, honestly, this kit is fantastic. I love everything about it. I love the colors. I love the core Gundam. I love everything. It just looks amazing. Now, obviously, the core Gundam I'm using is from the Earth 3, and the weapon for the beam, the big beam bazooka, is the core Gundam from the Earth 3 as well. So, a lot of this is not going to look the same if you get the kit, but I do recommend picking up the Earth Gundam and using that core Gundam for this. And then you can just use the other core Gundam, the G3 colors, just by itself. It looked good. But I would just say for this particular mobile suit, the, v, the V2 Gundam, 
um, definitely go with the Earth 3 core. But yeah, other than that, I mean, really just pick up those weapons. I think that is a must because it just fills in everything. It looks way, way better now. But regardless, I love this mobile suit. I think it looks fantastic. And it kind of actually motivated me a little bit more to watch the Build Divers Re-Rise series. So I think I'll go ahead and check that out probably in the coming weeks. But regardless, guys, that's it for me. If you do want to pick up this kit or more, definitely check out NewTypeHQ.com and use that promo code KUROSAMA so that way you can get 10% off. But other than that, I'll be seeing y'all in the next review. Bye-bye.